Hi everyone, this is Lily Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing a card reading for the collective. Anyone watching this video about what is going on with your person right now? So it could be a DMF energy or a DF energy. What's going on with your person and anyone watching this video? All right, so let's go in. And I will be having a live next weekend. It's the 9th. It's going to be on the 9th. And I will put it in the community tab soon, sometime next week. Um, that will be a live with Amy, okay, where we will share her channel. And she's also on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below. So you can start going to her channel. You can start liking her Instagram if you want to be on the live next week on the 9th. Okay. All right. Let's go in your person spirit. What is going on with your person? Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So your person is in a happy, kind of go-lucky mood. Okay, so if they were someone who would complain a lot or someone who had a lot of stuff going on in their life where they were saying, I feel like the world is against me. Today, right now, there's some good news that they heard. And it seems to be about money or about how their health is going in the right direction or about how authentic, authentic they're being right now. Like they just got some compliments or some reward for something that they had done in the past. So this could have been a moment when they planted some seeds and they are now reaping this reward right here. So some good news. And this is good for your person because they haven't had this type of good news in a while. So we see that the energies are changing with them. We have some Sagittarius energy around here as well. Okay, so um, Ten of Coins. Beautiful. Let's see what else is going on with your person. I see for some of you, your person is traveling. Like they're packing their suitcase and they'll be traveling very soon. So you see them coming out of this Eight of Swords energy here. Slowly but surely. And this is why this abundance is coming to them. They have touched a little bit, a little bit of this abundance very um, today or around this time period. Um, they're getting rid of some self-limiting beliefs. They're getting rid of some self-defeatist thought forms. Okay, so this is why this abundance is just knocking at their door. Okay, let's see what else is going on. They're going to have some opportunities offered to them and they will have to decide whether to say yes or no. There will be consequences on each side. Maybe they'll have to move for some of them. Maybe they will have to um, stay in you know, a certain area that they probably don't like. But there's definitely going to be a move or some sort of um, mutation or something going on there um, if they do decide to take this new opportunity. All right, let's talk about this. Ooh. We have the Eight of Wands. Okay. So your person really wants to travel. They want things to move fast. They want this deal to be done. And um, they want these changes to take place as soon as possible. So I don't know why I feel like your person hadn't allowed themselves to be excited for such a long time. And today... They are getting a little bit excited about this, like a little bit ag uh, ahead of themselves because they feel that the energy is changing. And we can see the freedom coming from these birds right here, these um, doves, the white doves. is a symbol of freedom. It's a symbol of faith. It's also a symbol of hope and peace. So this is the hope and peace. And hopefully uh, in the treaty, this hope and peace also will be manifested for the earth, the planet. And so, yeah, your person is definitely getting a, a bit of peace out of this today, this week. Okay. What, what else is going on with them? Ooh, we have an emperor. Somebody's willing to fight for you. Okay, we have number four. Four is the emperor. Four is also about hope in some of the numerology. And the emperor is someone who is going to be very dependent, dependable, sorry, uh, Sometimes they're dependent on us too. Huh? Uh, <laughs> and very practical. And they want to protect you. And so 
if your person was an emperor in reverse before, today they are the emperor and they want to be the emperor for you. So if you were wondering if to contact them or if you were wondering if they still have the feelings for you or um, what energy are they in, if we can talk about something, they seem to be in good energies today, okay? So it will be a good time to have that conversation with them or it will be a good time to, you know, send them a little message just telling them you're thinking about them. If you feel called to do so, of course, some of you are in no communication with your person and that is fine as well. But if you want to know what's going on in the background, this is what's going on. Okay, let's get some more cards in here. What else is happening for this person? Let's go in with Psychic Tarot. Spirit, tell us what else they're working on. Ooh, they are working on themselves. This is good news for some of you. Your person is digging deep. They got the foot in the... <laughs> I hate to say in the mud, in the ground, in the dirt, whatever you want to call it, but they are digging deep. And so they're feeling very grounded right now because they are doing the work that they haven't done in the past to heal their traumas, to heal their wounds, to figure out why they keep making the same mistakes, why they are like this, why they're like that. They are doing it and they're feeling stronger and stronger each day as they do it because now they have an explanation for it, right? Okay, moving on. Sacrifice. They felt like they were the sacrifice in the past, like they were the scapegoat of the family. They were the one that the family sacrificed so that everything would be fine. They were sent out to do a mission for the family. And sometimes this mission was, quote unquote, a suicide mission It's just an expression to say the mission was a difficult one and they had to do it for their family. They had to try to save the family. They had to try to save the honor of the family. They were the ones that the family chose to be the good one, quote unquote, whereas your person didn't fit with that. And for a lot of you, your person has a dark side, has a shadow side, and they never let that shadow side out because they had all these rules that were put on them by their parents or by their guardians. And I'm hearing here that your person resents their parents uh, for some of you and resents their guardians for some of you because of this. Okay, let's see what else. Choose wisely, they got a choice to make and they want to choose wisely. We have the number seven coming out again. So a lot of self work here, okay? This is good. So they're taking the time and they're going to make a choice. And they are getting messages from different people. They're getting messages from spirit. They're getting advice from their mentor. And they want to make a very good choice here. Because we see them with their hands up, raised up, waiting for some sort of divine intervention or some divine message. You got this card right here watch out watch out <laughs> it's a card for new projects it's a card for manifestation it's a card for growth and you see how her hair just looks like a tree or like branches with leaves this is because it's all about growth of wisdom so your person is growing in wisdom right but this could also be growing in the heart chakra area as well because we see that heart chakra like all bright green there and it's expanding it's also a message for people who are trying to have a child. <clears throat> I'm getting a little throat chakra here too. <laughs> You're having, trying to have a child. So, so some of you um, don't know how to express the need that you want to have this child with this person. Or you don't know if you will be able to have a child with this person. There's something about um, children that's bothering you here. There's something you need to say about it, okay? And um, you're definitely going to have a conversation about this at some point with your person. And I feel for some of you, your person is thinking about this too. And they don't know how to bring up the subject either. But um, what seems to be coming out is definitely some growth, growth of self here. Okay, let us go 
and get some messages from the universe for anyone watching this video about what to focus on today all right what should you focus on today all right let's check the angels and ancestors deck here what should we focus on spirit <laughs> i love this card hunter track down your fears and desires and look at that background it's all dark and black and they have all these tattoos and um that stick and that bow and the corns and everything what are you afraid of and why what do you desire and why so this is what spirit is asking you write it down physically write it down and get to the bottom of it if you get to the bottom of your fears if you get to the bottom of your desires you are this much closer to finding out what makes them so big and so difficult to attain right and you will be able to dismiss these fears and you will be able to get some of these desires in the treaty okay mirror guardian take time to reflect sometimes we have people who are being the mirror for us and your person is the mirror for you so just look at what they're doing carefully observe them listen carefully to what they have to say because they have some message that's coming out of their mouth that is for you from spirit and if we listen carefully we'll get the message and we'll know what to do next and um, without criticizing them, without bringing judgment towards them, they are reflecting what we need to work on. And so Spirit just wants to remind you of that. And you need to focus on that here this week, okay? Last card. <laughs> oracle. Step into your Oracle energy. Step into your power and wait for the important information it is coming so we see this oracle in deep meditation here and they seem to be in line with the dark and in the light you know they have that yin and yang balance and they're just waiting for the right moment the right message to come in and sometimes we need to go slow in order to go fast we might need to take some downtime in order to have some uptime. And I feel that this is what they're saying here. Take the time to meditate. You might think, oh, I have no time to meditate. I have so many things to do. But maybe if you take 30 minutes to meditate, it will save you three hours on the other things that you have to do. All right. So that's the message that's coming out today. Okay. So I will be um, posting something in the community tab very soon. For the live next week um do like subscribe to these videos if you like them and if you enjoy the content so that i can bring you more of these and also to my pick a card channel love and light to you all take care